All right. Um. Yeah. Weird intro, but hey, what is up, guys? Gamer here, and today we are making uh. You possibly already tell. We're making some fake blood. Yeah. Um. This is actually a good. This is actually a batch I made a while ago. It's actually still good, but I'm going to show you guys how I made my version of it, and I'm going to show you guys um with this whole bottle. And by the way, um, only two bloods are going to survive this whole thing, which is the blood that's going to be this and this tiny vial of blood. So we're going to make some blood today. Now, first thing you guys want to do is basically get for. First blood that we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do the Evil Dead blood. Evil Dead blood is actually the Bruce Campbell blood, shown in this scene. There you go. Um, yeah, that's the blood that they've been using for the Evil Dead movies, and it's basically a cinematic blood that is super easy to make. Yeah, I know. Super easy to make. All of this is super easy to make, but but what we're gonna do is not this one, not this one. Push that one aside. This shit. I forgot something. Cut. Okay, we are back with the actual ingredient that I needed that I forgot. Yeah. Okay. So the blood that we're making today, um, we're making both human and alien so this is gonna be good good uh, we're doing the evil dead blood for blood first of course take about take a small amount out of here let me show you take a small amount out of this which of course i haven't opened the, these yet so it's okay so this is what you do when you make evil dead blood so this is what you guys need to actually do you need First, open up the open up the corn syrup. Wait. Okay. First, you open up. Okay. So, first thing you need to do when making the Evil Dead blood, you need to make sure that you have all the ingredients here with you. Of course, how else we make it? But this is one thing that you need to do first. First things first. Um, get this brand if you. If you want to get the actual dead blood correctly, so take the food, take the dip, take it, dump a bit out. Think about you need enough to be able to mix stuff in. So another blood's worth, and yeah, go about here on there. Don't see, do you guys see it? Good. Um, I noticed that it actually goes a bit, they put a bit more, but I'm going to try a bit more out, but I'm going to go with this. So just take about, okay, take about one third cup out of the, take about one third cup out of the corn syrup container. To get to get that set up for the net for the alien blood or for the other human blood. So then you take then you take your container, complete container, not an empty one. You take the complete container. Take the food. Take food dye. And go ahead and squeeze about a whole bottle in there. About that much. About a whole bottle into the container. Depending on what's it, what you have. For the for the extra color to make it so it's dark dark color so it's a dark color um you usually are supposed to use blue or 
possibly black if you can actually find black food dye, but of uh, food coloring. But of course, I have to go with a bit of green because if we go with green, then it makes a lot more sense. Green, it does darken it up, but blue possibly does a bit better job. Only put a little bit of green in there. Do not put too much. Not to put too little. Just a little bit. Two, three, four, and five. About five drops worth. Okay? About five drops worth. Then you take your creamer, which of course is not even open. Because of course I didn't prep everything. But it didn't prep everything completely. Yes, take. Yes, I am aware of that. So you take. Take your creamer, place a bit, place a bit in here. Now that will help it, that will actually help out the blood creation a little bit. Then you just seal it up, and here comes the fun part. You shake it. We shake it till we break it! Basically you just shake it up real good, make sure everything works together <sighs> and there you go you got yourself some genuine screen accurate and let me just find something to pour this on okay Back, got something to test these on. Now, this is screen accurate Evil Dead blood. Yeah, it's just like what you see in the movies. Some actual screen accuracy. That. But I could possibly add a bit more green to it or something to actually make it a bit dark. You have to make sure it's not too opaque, not too overdone. But of course, some points I want to actually make sure everything is proportioned correctly. So I'm going to give it another shake. So I'd rather possibly put a bit more creamer into there, give it a few more shakes, and see where it goes. Alright, so, sorry I had to move the camera, um, we have the Evil Dead blood all done. You guys can easily see how well it, how well it went, but, I'm wondering, well, I'm actually planning on making, now, alien blood. So, mostly predator blood, with the alien from AVP. Oh. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Enjoying this scene. Get on with it! Stuff that here is some of the corn syrup that we took out of the Evil Dead bottle. And yes, I'm going to actually place Evil Dead on that bottle. Now, instead of now, do close to the same step, but add a bit more green. And this time we're gonna mix it instead of Instead of shaking it like a ragdoll. Now, add a few drops of red, not too much. And the creamer. And let's mix it, see what happens. And for the big reveal, boom. Alien blood. Now comparing it to the blood that we just did. That looks darker than the blood before, but look at it. Yeah, that's the comparison shot right there. Some green blood right next to red blood. Mix it together and make some 
subhumanoid blood. Oh no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Phew, dead. Yeah, we made some subhumanoid blood real quick. Uh, didn't mean to do that, but yeah, this is actually pretty neat. So, let's get to the main event. The actual blood that I originally make. So, we got a red and a right out here, but I might want to finish off the red that I did before, just in case. Just because. Okay, so. Now, this varies for size, because this came out of a bigger container. Like, a bigger container than what this would make. So, let's make this. Um, cornstarch. We're going with the cornstarch first, because this is the dry ingredient. Third, a cup of cornstarch. Well, actually, possibly a bit less, but yeah, uh, a bit less than one third of a cup. Go with something like that. Um, so go all the way down to one fourth, or go all the way down to a teaspoon. Or so. So yeah, this is how much this is this will act as a catalyst for the blood. Now we add the corn syrup. We're not using the bottle with the evil dead blood because that's already been turned into evil dead blood. That already turned into blood. So let's put our corn syrup in here. Yeah, look at that golden goodness. Okay, we got some we got some of that in there now. Let's put the red. Put it up then. Touch of green, not too much. Then take your spoon and try to not leave as much chunks of the cornstarch as you Uh, then you got the thickest blood, then, and by the way, this is not what this is right now. I'm using the same steps, but this is thicker blood than before, but you guys get the idea. Mostly mix, mix a bit, just mix a third of a cup of this or a cup of this. teaspoon or a third of a cup or depending on what size of that you're doing because this is not a this is not the well balanced size but this does make some good special effects blood but these ingredients do make some good special effects blood and heck let's have this let's have this let's bring this back out yeah the evil dead blood the alien blood and now, the blood blood. Yeah. And that's how you make cinematic blood. I was gonna make some cinematic skin as well, some skin as well, but I wasn't able to, so. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about the dog noises and stuff, but yeah. So, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to edit a few things out of this video and re edit a few things in. Add a few things in, and. Okay, um. Quick side note I'm going to actually taste the green blood. Um. I do not know if this was actually supposed to be set up as something like a drink or be set up something like a actual movie prop blood, but I'm going to try it real quick. Whoa, this is, this is cake slime. I made cake slime. Oh man. This is good actually. 
This is good. Um, I did not know that on set for Evil Dead or any movie that someone would just think of this. But putting creamer inside of uh, corn syrup and making blood. Never noticed that. Like, like it. This possibly tastes the same as this, so not gonna be a difference. I'm just going to clean this off and possibly store it and call it Evil Dead Blood, and I'm gonna store this in the fridge, saying Evil Dead Blood. But yeah, I don't know if I didn't know anything about the ingredients. I did not know anything about a lot of the stuff, and a lot of this is actually good. Yeah, um, Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi, I'm giving you a shout out right now. You did good. You did good on this. Um, yeah. It's delicious. Might actually mix it into a drink. Or something, but man. This is good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I know you guys know I like to make videos and stuff, but I do not know what I'm going to be doing for an actual thing for with this blood. I'm possibly planning on making a mass killer too, but uh, what's that over there? Hey, what's up guys, Gamer in here, um, oh, actually, yeah, hey, what's up guys, um, yeah, here's an issue that I figured out when I was editing the video, um, I found out that I screwed up one time on the video, um, if you guys see a bottle, see the bottle of water in the video, that was actually supposed to be used for the blood mixture that was the blood that I normally make for scenes. And, by the way, I still have the bottle of Evil Dead blood, I did write Evil Dead on it, I even drew a little Necronomicon on it, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I tried to do something that I've done before in the past, and I'm trying to reinvent myself. Trying to make it so I can get everything back to normal, and get back to making videos the way I used to make them. And of course, I'm going to zoom in and out because, because I might have actually had myself face zoomed in too much. But yeah, I'm going to try my best to work hard, try my best to get everything done that I need to get done. And yeah, this is the end of the video. And I know I'm going to be rambling on and on. I do not know how long I'm going to be rambling on. Done with it. Yes, get over it. Yeah, Okay, Monty Python reference aside, we are going to actually, um, I'm going to actually continue on to do more videos and stuff. I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I've done so far, and I'll see you guys in the next, in the next video. And I'll leave you guys off with a TikTok I made that has the Evil Dead blood inside of it. Why not? The following program contains swearing right from the fucking start. <laughs>